Halo? 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 Halo chat? Halo? <laughs> Hi! How are you all? I hope you're all doing good. We have more Ace Attorney to play! Ace Attorney time! Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Finally, we still need the stream. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You said there was gonna be an investigation again. I think so. Um. It did have the guide open, so I saw oh. something, but I um, I don't now. I'm not sure anymore if I just accidentally mm. scrolled places or not. Yes, yeah, see, we shall see. Yeah. Is everything good on stream side? I think so. Audio wise, at least. Oh my god! Yeah, give me a good. second. That one's out. <gasps> Do I sound okay? Let's see. I thought you were fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Alright, last time we played, we were about to head into the second trial of episode 3. Where we found out where the who the producer and the director were. Yeah. How will things develop from here on out? No one knows. I mean, we know, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <gasps> well, at least Very one exciting. of us is gonna be surprised. Yeah, I... <laughs> don't know who did it, right? Yeah, they didn't. They didn't yeah, they show. didn't show it. 
You just saw like you just yeah, saw yeah, on the yeah. news like oh no he's dead. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna be very surprised. It's good for child, isn't it? <laughs> Always has been. Yeah, actually a lot stronger than expected. So <laughs> Here. Murder. Well, oh yeah, I guess I can say that now because they did say that the spear is very, very heavy, and in the anime, Edgeworth has it and like looks at it and is just carrying it without a problem, and then throws it to Phoenix, and he just can't help, can hold it and falls back ah. because it was so heavy. <laughs> How heavy can a spear like that be, though? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Phoenix is just really, really weak. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh... Anyway, let's play. Let's. Oing it! I... Yes! Yeah, we had the third or oh, second trial. Mm -hmm. Second trial. October 19 yes. to 42 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Music so good. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes. Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. <laughs> Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. There's no time for dead people jokes, please. <laughs> you know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. That or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Over 19, 10 a.m. District Court courtroom number 4. Oh, yeah, it's worth ass. <laughs> <laughs> the cake. Cheeked yeah. up on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> oh my god. Today is Friday, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there was other people present at the studios. Today I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if he'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or that director. Hmm. Will the witness state his name and profession? Ever can you get? You don't know me! I'm the director! I make the steel samurai new ruffle! <laughs> <laughs> Salmonella, I'm a director, television. <laughs> Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. Powers is innocent, you know what that means. 
someone in the trailer on that day did it. But right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. The day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else had ate lunch at the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. Hmm. The time of Mr. Emmer's death was 2.30 p.m. According to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. I have no idea. No, oh no. Press everything mm. when in doubt, you know. That when you always come into work. Oh, oh no! I come in at all, all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. What? Well, <laughs> still, <laughs> FYI, I was pretty busy all that day, sad. Ronaldo, the gamer man. Oh my god, the gamer man. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Wow, wow, wow. Tell us more about that. Uh, press everything. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> no. An employee area. That's right. It was a fight scene between the steel samurai and the evil magistrate. Is anyone else at the run through? Oh yeah, that secure lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. LOL. She was shooting out on Emmer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs <laughs> for it. Anyone else? Nope, just as four. Why did it go on so long? Uh, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this, but we don't you be twisted his ankle during the run through, she? Oh right, that's the limp. Which of course led to me missing my lunch, Ruffs. <laughs> what is it, this thing? Ruffs rolling on the floor, starving? <laughs> <laughs> I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. Oh. I'm surprised Phoenix understood that though. Yeah, mm -hmm. same. Such a boomer mentally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak! The assistant cooked some up! Come to think of it, there was a play with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? Hmm. Must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Yeah, they did have stay. He did stay, right? Yeah. We also found some T-bone remains at the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So it's contradictory. contradictory. Yeah. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Terminella. Mm -mm, what? What do you want? Sweats. 
When I went to see it too, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Wait, lunch there. <laughs> no, uh, 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 good call. Sweat. <laughs> I uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. Oh, but wow. I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat, I'd suspected as much. Hmm. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that beating. I uh, wolfed it down then. Oh. <laughs> the mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. They took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. Yeah, press this one. He didn't take a single break. Uh, well... Yeah, not one sweat. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, hmm. I wonder? I wonder. I, I, I wonder, <laughs> if only I had an idea. Wait a second. I do have an idea. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep going. Wait a second. Well, you just contradicted yourself. You just told the court that you, that you ate that T-bone steak during a break. Oops, ruffle. <laughs> well. Um... Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, laughing is so hard, I don't... Yeah. Uh-oh, <laughs> Edgeward is laughing. <laughs> the break. Yeah, FYI, why we took a break, Ruffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base 12. What? Not enough um, time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One, lol. That's only just enough time to eat the T-bone steak if you ask me. Steams. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. What does FWAW mean? I have no clue. Let me see. Good. Probably for your information. So. For what it's oh. worth? What? Oh. For its worth. Um... Okay. Huh. I wanna know at what time was this break? <laughs> what time exactly did it take this break? Hmm. I'd say it was around 2.30 or so till 2.45. <laughs> no, that's unfortunate. 2.30. That's the time of death. So I could have gone to Studio One, kill Hammer and come back. Guess it's possible time-wise. I'm not sure that's correct with the 13 and base 12. Hmm. <laughs> or Don't think too doing... much about it. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? There were two plates on that table. 
All right, the other one was Diva. Sorry, Divaskas played. Divaskas, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Indeed. Hmm. Why is that? Objection! Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? No. Your Honor. The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Surely you aren't suggesting... Sh suggesting suggesting <laughs> one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. God. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Because of the fallen tree and the... the yeah. Walking, I guess not. But... So I couldn't have... I I think that's bullshit. Couldn't you just have gone around then? Hmm. But not within the game logic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you just have to go a bit through the woods probably to get through, but... Mm. They are telling us that there's no way. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? It's impossible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying it's impossible then. Yeah. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. What happens if we answer wrong? Is it uh -huh. you, you lose credibility. Okay, okay. Yeah. I thought you might be thoughtless treading thoughtlessly treading on the nice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mr. M Mrs. Monkey. Oh, he may monkey. Huh? Is this a typo or was it actually like this? Hmm. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head departed the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Which is very convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Ergo. <laughs> when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. <laughs> it's not a typo, I guess. Huh. It's actually Mr. <laughs> Monkey, but I drew oh. a point. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what is this? And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to... Relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. 
I learned more with regards to the photo of the steel samurai. Even decided the costume none other than Mr. Powers could worn could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence of witness. Or is it gonna be the kid? Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah. My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai squirted the victim. Our children's testimony is even valid. Order! I don't huh. know, apparently. Order. In the ace attorney, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I will have order. Considering so one of the future testimonies we're gonna have to hear, a kid is <laughs> more than good. Yeah. Mm. Even yeah. the kid is better. <laughs> order, I will have order. I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. October 19, 11.04 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. What do we do now, Mia? Everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Hey, Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was, there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. I got to jail. No! They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. Mrs. Powers. <laughs> You're innocent. We will prove it. I guarantee it. He's not just going to jail, by the way. He's going to die if he's found guilty. Oh, okay. They okay. have death penalties in this. True, in both the states and Japan, so I can pretend. Wait, either. but doesn't it? I feel like later in the games, it's not as mm. uh, strongly communicated. <laughs> but I'm pretty maybe I remember wrong. I'm pretty sure in Ace Attorney, every everyone that gets convicted of murder dies. Okay. Hmm. Is that really true? So the the guy we uh, we found <laughs> guilty in the first trial is now dead. I mean, <laughs> let me confirm. Actually, so that I'm not fucking <laughs> things out of my mouth. I mean, Larry did talk about how he's gonna die in the first trial. True. Yeah, but that was Larry. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, you cannot trust what Larry says, but... <laughs> oh, no. No, I'm... I'm talking out of my mouth. Not always. Hmm. So I can. They, they just go to jail. I know there's death penalties, but... Yeah. They just go to jail. Hmm. Uh, did I read this line? Yeah. If, I, if you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Lead to us and be yourself, be strong. You are the steel samurai, here with children everywhere after all. I... You... Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. October 19, 11.15 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 4.
Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. <clears throat> so our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case. We worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this with this cruel questioning. Oh my god. So uh, what now? <laughs> Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. Yeah. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, uh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Hmm. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? <laughs> Okay, so do you want to take over any of the witnesses that are about to appear? Yeah, well, I'm just sure I take this one. You want oh, the kid? Should... Yeah, I could also do the. Oh, yeah, we producer? also have the the, 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 the producer lady. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing Cody's gonna talk more. Mm -hmm. All right. What? Well, so... Just cause you're all grown up, don't mean you can push me around. <laughs> Cody, answer this question, okay? And hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins, I'm in the second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, bless. Bless. Jesus. Thanks. <laughs> Witness. Uh, I mean, Cody. Is having trouble with this gentle thing. <laughs> <laughs> you were present. Um, you were at Global Studios on the day of the um, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> they just replied. <laughs> oh, just Mr. Atwood. Well, that was fine. That's the one thing you read. Huh. A very long day. <laughs> Incidentally, photograph equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Mm. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission, if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid, and you lost? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. I don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. One of you had the camera on the day of the murder. Better make a note of it in the court record. Cody's camera, a new digital camera. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Hmm, that's weird. Why don't we just know if, if he's taking a photo or not? Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the day of the incident. Witnesses account. 
I want to see you steal Samurai Rehearsal just once. <laughs> yeah, just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods. Off the path so that old lady could, wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost, lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio there was the Steel Samurai. Holy rock, red for my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Ow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. <laughs> hmm. yeah, okay, yeah, Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle, remember you're talking to a child. Hmm. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. So, this would mean that the uh, broken, what was it, drainage thing? Or whatever. That he didn't break that. Someone else did. Mm -hmm. Because he couldn't get into the studio, right? But that entrance where he got into it later was broken down. Yeah. Within that day, right? So something must have happened there. I don't think it's important yet, but I think it might be in the future. So this one is probably just uh, that he didn't have his camera with him, even though he said before, he always has it. Right? Uh, okay, what should we do? Press everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think we need to press this. Could you go through the evidence for a second? Through the camera thing? Uh, always carries it, I would just put that against but he the... states he states it's new. Hmm. Mm. But it, that new. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, just press the part about not having the camera with him. Yep. If you had your camera, you mean you weren't carrying your camera then? <laughs> no, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and went home. Phoenix. Remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. Maybe it, Mia should just do the interrogation, mm. honestly. Yeah, true. <laughs> but it says it always carries it, so yeah, that's kind yeah, of a yeah, contradiction. Yeah. yeah. Cody, what he just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You're quite clear about that. <laughs> Cody, oh you God. shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. What? <laughs> Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? Ask you. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? What? You do remember this is on the early 2000s. <laughs> I think. Hmm. It's um a digital camera, your honor. Isn't it like early 2000s? Mm. I rather get the feeling that something got lost in translation here. Hmm. Maybe. Digital camera. Let me check. What's that? 
Do we have a backlog in this game? Mm hmm. Is that a backlog from the text? No. No, Sag. Weak. Mm. <laughs> it's actually digital camera in Japanese, but you can also shorten it with digi kame. So maybe that's what they used. Uh. Well. Well, no matter. No, this is. Oh no, this is fucking. Oh! 2016. Huh? Yeah, this well, is 2016. That's crazy. It's, um, a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. Can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. Did bring it, didn't you? Um... <laughs> Mr. Wright. How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so... Yeah, yeah. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. <laughs> what do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? <laughs> <laughs> I get called out. <laughs> well, Cody. What? what? Yes, yeah, so I had my camera. So what? Got a problem with that? So you did have a camera. Did you use this camera? But why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well, please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Hmm. Huh. What I saw. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. Couldn't take my eyes off it. Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! But then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules. Hmm. Ah, huh? is that all? Yeah. Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. <laughs> hmm, that's fine. Loot reaction. You have press there, I guess? Okay. So you were watching this little samurai, did you catch the whole fight? Yeah, of course! You didn't turn away, not even once. No! Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm gonna get- I'm getting to that. Wham. Yeah, we need more information about the wham. So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? Told you, a person. He was a person. <laughs> How was he dressed? Uh, I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching Steel Samurai. I see, and what happened next? Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess press it too. Why? Huh? What do you mean why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? <laughs> but well, because the steel server, I brought him to justice. How exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, something like that. Mm. He's still being vague about this. Mm. What? Don't give me that look, pups. Should I play this? Ah. Uh. I, I don't think waiting is gonna help us with anything. Yeah. Well. Do we press then? Yeah. No. Press that bitch. Cody. But what? Something's bothering me. Before he said that he couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah. So what? And yeah, you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Absolutely Objection! fucking nothing. No. No. He didn't see. He didn't see the stab. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the murder. Where's the stab? Yeah. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? <laughs> <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the still samurais fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how you might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing! Phoenix. I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Uh, oh. Can we look at the evidence right now? Uh, Any specific piece of evidence you want to look at? Uh, the book he has? He, he didn't know how to use the camera, so he was fiddling with it, maybe, because he did want to take a photo. Mm. my guess. Uh, save, save. <laughs> save, yeah. save, save. <laughs> or do you have a better guess? I literally do not remember. And I, I wouldn't watch. They couldn't watch it, they was watching something else or show evidence. Can you show the <laughs> the evidence that we have again? Tell me if you wanna look at something specific. Uh the... the last two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is about the victory stuff, so it, it must have been about the last, the, the climax of have, the fight. Yeah, so he maybe, must have wanted to take a photo. Yeah, or he was trying to, to write it down or something. Hmm. Or check if it's already in there. I don't know. Photo album. We yeah. can check. It's, it's either of the two, and we saved anyway, so... And we have a lot of health, I don't think we're gonna lose too much. So we go with evidence. I suppose. Yeah. 
Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? I would do the photo album. Okay. Here's my proof. Proof? <laughs> um... Uh, uh, can oh, I maybe do that again? With the... <laughs> Doesn't prove anything. The proof already sounds kind of weird, so maybe it's the looking at something else. Yeah. And then it's the camera or the book or whatever. Yeah. Uh, lost your nerve, have you? Very well, I'll ask you the question again. You have ascertained this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Watching someone else, but that, that doesn't sound quite right. Did he? I don't know. How did we even get here? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wouldn't watch it is not the right thing, I believe. Yeah. He did see some of the fight that we. Yeah, he was looking at it. He just missed the final moment. So couldn't watch it would mean he got knocked out or something. Or. <laughs> or or the lady chased away, but that doesn't make sense. The other lady was the, the dirty lady was busy. Yeah. I think he got knocked out. So I don't think it's he couldn't watch it. Oh yeah, try was watching something else. Missed the climax of the fight. Because he was looking at something else, probably. 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 <laughs> <laughs> something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol, the Steel Samurai, fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Oof. <laughs> Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims. <laughs> yes, sorry, Your Honor. Mm. It doesn't yeah. even penalize us. Do you have yeah. another explanation for this? I guess you have ascertained this young boy is a great fan of Steel Samurai movie. Would you watch the climax of the fight? What if he just couldn't watch it? He looked okay. away because he got scared. Oh, okay, let's... Yeah, that's another meaning. That was my, my first thought. Uh. But it, it doesn't really... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're desperate. Because he couldn't watch it. <laughs> Literally. How could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Oh. Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight, like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, huh. So we actually have to present evidence. I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Well, Mr. So Wright, camera. do you have yeah. another explanation? Well, I am crying. But you have the camera. Your Honor, <laughs> I have evidence. Again. We have a lot of evidence, actually. The question is what for? Yeah. What do we go with then? The camera. I yeah. think you, the rest really doesn't make sense. Doesn't, yeah. Take that. Take that. It was the camera. Here's okay, my okay. proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He was entirely familiar with its operation. Oh, that's right. Oh my god. I'm aware of that too. Ah. Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. Well, we said before that he was looking somewhere else. We just present the wrong piece of evidence. Uh, <laughs> we had the right. We had the right thinking. Uh, he was trying to take a picture. Hey. Bullseye. What's your problem, pop? Get a thing for picking on little kids. Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. 
thought he was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could have just stand there watching his hero. Not take his take a picture. Right. Cozy. There was only one reason why we would have looked away from the fight. That was because he wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? <laughs> yeah. Well, Phoenix. I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. But right, me and Min's business. <laughs> Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. But very well. Cody? Could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um... Welcome to the real world, kid. Wow, gonna mean... <laughs> No photo? No, no photo? No, no photo? photo. <laughs> no photo? <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> New sticker incoming. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I gotta take a screenshot. Oh no. I took one. Nice. <laughs> no photo. <laughs> nice. No photo. <laughs> no photo. <laughs> We've been destroyed by the internet. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Pop. A steel samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I hold up my camera to take a picture. The lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Um, it didn't open in time. The lens, yeah. Hmm. Sounds reasonable. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. What but do you mean I, you're not sure? But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. No photo. <laughs> no photo. <laughs> when you're too young to. Have I want to press so this just no for photos. fun. Sure. Wow. Pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called you Pops. This fucking hard geezer. It's a geezer. Geezer. Geezer, I think. Geezer. I'm Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> I guess I'm the bearded gentleman. <laughs> That's what I hate about grown-ups, you're also self-conscious. Okay, off with the qu the kid gloves. Testify, witness, testify. <laughs> Aisha. You just... Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. You join us at a good time. It's yep. very good right now. No photo. No, no photo. photo. <laughs> <laughs> Just escaped. Okay, press this and I wanna know how the fight went on. Now. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, oh. Uh, yes, the steel sour I was moving a little strange. Uh, <gasps> that sounds very important. Strange, yeah. I mean, we. I wish that would have gotten added, not gonna lie. Hmm. Yeah. Char, thank you for the sub. I have no emotes, but... Oh, <laughs> oh let's go. Get the 
sabis. I mean, we know the still samurai was moving strangely, that's the thing. Yeah. Hmm. I'm still thinking that someone was pretending to move that way. But that <gasps> means that the person must have known that uh, powers uh, had a lag issue. Mm-hmm. Which narrows it down quite a bit. Let's keep pressing stuff. Yeah. I'm on the camera. Mm. Yeah, just just press whatever you want. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. This is just related to him not being able to. Use yeah. the camera. All that happened, can you press that? Yeah. <laughs> That's all? Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once I got that lens open. Hmm. Did you really not take a picture, not even one? Oh, yeah. It's hard. Yes. Bully the kid. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. Yeah. Took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? <laughs> How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my <laughs> powers. <laughs> wow. This feels great! <laughs> Bluffing. A uh. bluff. How does he always get away? Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a finger shot, but it was, it was too late, so I erased him. <laughs> right. Hmm. Press that shit. You erased them. Y yeah. Why would you erase a picture of beloved Seal Samurai victorious? Well, no. Why would I, why would I want to keep a picture uh, like that? Oh, well, he didn't win. That's why I deleted it. Mm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. Better find a clear contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? Has to be something. Pick up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out, out what this kid's all about. Minute evidence at this point. Uh, I mean, his photos are all about the Steel Samurai winning, so he wouldn't keep a photo mm -hmm. if the Steel Samurai didn't win. Mm -hmm. I present the book then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cody. What? 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 Man, every time you say Cody, you fall it with something bad. Oh no, we're gonna make him fear his own name. No. Uh, traumatize the kid, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, oh right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the steel summer lights lands the power blow. Well, wow, wazam! 
Got them all. Never missed one. The perfect collection. Cody. Did you really get a picture of the still samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you just erased it. Won't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright! What exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. A collection of pictures of the Soul Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. Claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Soul Samurai has won. I... I see. And you find this very odd, your honor. Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? The Samurai had just defeated his adversary. The only would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, your honor. No, oh, wait, <laughs> no way! Phoenix. I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Because this one costs credibility. Didn't win. Didn't win is how we go with. Yeah. yeah. I can only I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The still samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the still samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the still samurai. No, no, no way, no! It, it's impossible, the Steel Sarah never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor... The witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't want- didn't take a picture. Same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit that he, what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, he's spicy. Order! I will have order! W witness! I mean, Code, is this true? What did you see? <laughs> Tell the court what you saw. Judge also can't believe the Steel Samurai lost. <laughs> I. <laughs> Code. That day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Right? Hey, okay! You're right! The Steel Samurai fell down. The thing didn't move. Order, order, order. <laughs> what kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? This 
Steel Samurai was the murderer and not the victim. Yet according to your witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. What the hell? Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error. What's this all about? Steel Samurai was that's the still victim. Some, yeah. I mean, that's what makes sense. Yeah. Steel Samurai was the victim. You understand what really happened? It's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the still samurai. Order, order, order. So the still samurai in this photograph, you're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Jack, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But wait! How did Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought! Remember what Mrs. Oldback said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see a poor old Hammer? No. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the car station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and sold a steel samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Hmm? Thought that the single samurai was moving strange. There was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Uh, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, photo on my digital camera. Oh shit, let's go! Mm. Oh. What? Show us quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! <laughs> <laughs> Here, this is it. What happened to the gentle thing? Of chill, chill. Oh. <laughs> oh, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Mm -hmm. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't the size of evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win, the, win this trial. Mm. What? Your Honor! May I see that photo once more, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him! A glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them. But oh my god, it's Studio 2! Oh. Find the inconsistency in the photo. Yeah. The two. 
on top right. This too? Yeah. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? A number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Well, not a one, Your Honor. Correct? <laughs> uh. I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but <laughs> that's impossible. Hmm? Eh? What's this all about? Please explain, sir. I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder does not say one on that in that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Yeah, Studio Two. Studio Two. Here at Studio Two. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Yeah, it would. Your Honor, <laughs> find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio Two. That was close. Mm -hmm. The trailer's mm -hmm. there. The path was blocked. No filming. That was blocked. I mean. No, I think trailer's it's there. the trailer's there because the trailer, then because we then can everyone, yeah. everyone in the trailer can have committed the, the murder. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I didn't choose that. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Mrs. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that will be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio Two. O order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that security guard Miss Solbach saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. <laughs> Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would the steel. You steal a steel samurai costume. Are you suggesting? Sh Why can I not read suggesting? <laughs> Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Mm. Alright. Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. Ah, we do, but um, Hammer was proof. like drugged. Oh. Yeah, he was drugged. It's kind of implicit, but I think it's true. Hmm. Y yeah? Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We say we have proof. 
Yes. Go. I have proof. You do. You do, Mr. Wright? <laughs> we do? <laughs> now that we're they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right though. There's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. The sleeping pills, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. Same table with Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers A. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant Mr. Powers spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Hmm? Uh, to prove, house. we're trying to prove no. that the Hammers used the bottle. Um. Mm. Probably. I don't think Vlad prints. Sorry, what did you say? Probably the fingerprints, right? Yeah, I think that too. Blood doesn't make sense. And I yeah. don't know what we would find on the body. Yes, yeah, Nothing. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. My claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints to show up on this bottle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. What was that? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. There's a squeaky toy in the room. <laughs> the court, this court will suspend proceedings for the current trial for today. Cody Hacking's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The still samurai seen by Mrs. Oldback may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. The trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Well, well. Very well, court is adjourned. October 19, 2.47 p.m. Defendant Court. This District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Phew! That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. <laughs> what? Uh, what? M me too. Going home as in leaving Maya's body. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're, we're just leaving the courtroom with Maya's body. <laughs> <laughs> really? You both seem so, so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. <laughs> no, uh, no, Phoenix. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. No. Yeah, me too. Oh my god. Oh, well, that's <laughs> dead. Oh, of course you're kidding. Yeah, that didn't sound like. <laughs> you're just a joke. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh -huh, you almost just died. Are you sure? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. 
<laughs> oh, no. God. No, Mr. Powers. We have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you will find a true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks! To be continued. So there's actually gonna be another investigation. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. They like their big case threes. Before we continue, I need water. My throat is fucking dying. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. you guys right. entertain the stream, talk to chat, ah! <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. Yes. Yes. Mm. I think, hmm, as much as there is third case, oops, third case syndrome, where the third case tends to be more boring or like doesn't really add anything to the main story. Mm -hmm. It's still fun, I think. And it's a nice trial. I don't think it's too The trial is fun, annoying. the investigation is not. <laughs> well... <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, now I have to really think about who actually did it. As we did establish now, it had to be Taylor. The, yeah. Now it can uh, be anyone. The producer seems to be the most uh, suspicious one. Now it can't be anyone anymore. It can't be the assistant lady anymore or Powers, right? Well, I mean, why would it be Powers? We're defending him. Yeah, but <laughs> logically, it can't be him anymore. Yeah. Unlike before. Mm. And I actually have no clue where the assistant was the entire time I was too the other hand, out, I think. The assistant brought the steak to Oh no, she didn't, right? They, they <laughs> I don't this, remember. Took the steaks with them as at least the Is he the producer? What's the role? Producer mm. and what's the lady? Hmm. Whatever. The weird nerd guy and the eccentric lady. Mm -hmm. I think the weird guy brought at least his steak himself. Hmm. But he's also the most suspicious, though. Hmm. <laughs> because who, he did, who done it? He explicitly said. Um, that the in fifteen minutes, that's not enough time to commit murder there, <laughs> which, which is very sus, very sussy, mm. sussy baka. <laughs> mm. Sus. Mm. Uh, sussy and, baka moment. Yeah, and we don't have a motive at all yet. Oh my god. We True. also need a motive for taking the Steel Samurai costume. I kind of feel like this is going to be a thing where Hammer <laughs> tries to pin him. Char, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel like it's the part, no, no, Hammer trying to pin the, another murder onto ours, but it actually went wrong at some point and he actually died i don't know how this could <laughs> happen what i vaguely know still what happens mm. but so you can't it was it. yeah it wasn't an easy solution oh okay hmm Hello. Ah. Hello. I'm theorizing. It on... was me. What was you? Wait, what happened? <laughs> the murder. The murder. You were theorizing oh. about who done it. Why am and I it not was surprised? <laughs> I also got some snack. Okay.
Let's do this. Let's continue. October 19, 327 p.m. Write and call law officer. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too mad. I'm sorry, I missed it. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> We're back. M Maya. And what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. You do? You do? <laughs> <laughs> All I'm excited to share this information with the yeah. class. All I need is a motive and proof. Wow, nice going, Nick. Wow, Sugoi. <laughs> Under no. the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's a new court system they introduced two or three years ago. Oh, yeah? They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So, under that system, trials have to end in three days. Yep, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. Is there gonna be, like, an animal as a witness or something like that? No, they would no. never. Huh? <laughs> yes, sir, for the plant, Maya has been worrying so much. Lately, it looks a little swollen. She's trying to make it grow. She's perfecting a war, a war torture <laughs> technique. I just wanted... I I just but wanted to see Charlie. Yeah, Charlie's gonna be a witness. Charlie in court. Let's go. Oh. Where do we go? Uh, our detention center. Always a good thing to talk with the witness first. No. Number 19, detention center, visitor's room. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. And could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Well, Nick, you must have really wowed them in there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... And could you wipe that grin off your face? <laughs> hey, WP, one, only one day left. Make it count. Yes. So there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. <laughs> I mean, Maya has been plenty of help because of Please. Mia. Mm. This is no laughing matter. <laughs> Talk to him. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, no one, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? N nothing Forget it. I, I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Director Manella. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director. Something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Soul Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I hear he's pretty much our beck and call, though. Whatever she says, jump, yes, so high, and all that. <laughs> can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. Mr. Hammer. <laughs> mm. 
I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? Then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could you do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Mr. Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago. Anything else we want to do here? Hmm. I don't know what. Do we have <laughs> evidence to present? I think so. Mm, no, probably not. The sleeping pills would have been interesting, but we don't have them anymore. Right? <laughs> yeah. I guess we go investigate. Oh no. Number 19, Global Studios, main gate. Oh, old bag. I've missed you so. <laughs> Does she appear more later? Yes. <laughs> I see. Yes. <laughs> Yo, went back so it's quiet today. She's like... Larry. Ah. She is a recurring character, yes. And I comes see. back to haunt us. I see. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. <laughs> Nick? I think a guard's down. Y yeah? I bet we could even keep those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. <laughs> hmm. A donut. <laughs> you eat, you die. Oh, she's alive. I like how when she did, you, she said you eat your die, I was putting a cracker in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh well. I'm I'm wondering about the Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets away. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Okay, so, so she's the producer. Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Hmm. Director Manella. Can I ask you about Salmonella, the director? Sal, he's soft, a pushover. That's whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. <laughs> Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? It doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no, no, it doesn't, Maya. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Hammer. About Mr. Hammer. Ah! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Yeah, I have no idea why anyone would be one <laughs> be like being treated as dirt. Want to mm. it like the mm. I have no idea whatsoever. <laughs> Poor old hammer, you drag this star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. 
forget this. Uh oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak by me? You would never stoop so low, it's impossible. Okay, thank you. Oh, right, bye. Bye. <laughs> Number 19, Studio One entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the steel samurai costume. And he left from here to go to Studio Two. How could he? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. Oh, it wasn't his own motivation that he put on the costume. Hmm. Conspiracy. Do we want to snoop around or do we just go? No, oh, let's just go. Chirp, chirp. Over 19, oh, Studio 2 entrance. Hey, Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello. Hello. Hey. Ow. 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 My Maya, you should at least try to be polite. <laughs> I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Hmm? Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. Well, you aren't listening to them, are you? I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. You have to present something? Mm. Powers was the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You, you, you did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! Okay, solved, everybody! Yeah, nice. Let's go home! <laughs> My fave blood speaks to me, I know it, I know it! <laughs> oh dear. I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves. Oh, oh dear. Should we snoop around? This is the crime scene. Hmm. What do you think? I feel like we're not gonna get stuff from actually looking around. When hmm. and should we go somewhere present? Maybe we have to find more people and talk. There were nineteen. So you do trailer. Was the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on the high from getting the rare card <laughs> she needed. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
No one here. Find more people then. Over 19, Global Studios, Employee Area. Yes, they're not filming today either. I didn't want to see them filming, just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow, you can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found the bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. Wonder if there's if there are any other clues lying around. No. No. Ah, no, 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 no touching. No touching. Eh. Thrown out. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to fight uh, to frighten you. It didn't mean. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Uh, I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. Yeah. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. <laughs> Gumshoe career path change. Yeah. Ahem. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal, traces there thereof. The plate. Are you looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the pressing. But after the cap. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there's traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat! I'll detect gumption, what are you waiting for? No, no, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Steak plate found in the employee area. On it are traces of sleeping bills on the large bone. Hmm. Investigation. <laughs> How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Capsule? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. But I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Prosecutor Edgeward. How is Edgeward doing anyway? Mr. Edgeworth's out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed his paper cup with hot hot coffee in it. <laughs> Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, you're your Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups, bottles. Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? 
Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. Maybe, hmm, I don't know why. So I was right. Slipping pill bottle, found on the table in the employee area. Bears Shack Hammer's fingerprints. What do we do now? Uh, wasn't Old Back complaining about Jack Hammer's would never or something? Mm. But now we have the sleeping pills. Mm. Mm. Let's try it. Uh, Mrs. Oldbag, what do you think of this? Think? I'm not in the mood for thinking, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I guess she doesn't have anything. I guess we just run around even more. Jump, shoot, jump, scare. <laughs> no. Do we, where do we go? Hmm. Oh, was there a place where we didn't go yet? In a dressing room. Hmm. Oh, hello! What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... Whoa. Ah! <laughs> what? Why? No faith. But WP is innocent. Yes, I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No! Yeah. Rip Mr. Steel Samurai. Hammer. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh, guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, Mrs. Vasquez, that producer had some kind of hold on Hammer. Mm, had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? You know, bad stuff. Mm, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, there was so many movies starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set then? <clears throat> the last episode. What, what do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. However, <sighs> really did kill Mr. Hammer and also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no, no! Maybe that was the goal. 
Also, I hear that local studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. Oh, what? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Studio policy. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? The studio big wigs don't want to steal samurai around anymore. I want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. I'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. <laughs> Being evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. We're trying to what? prove that kids will care if the show ends. Well, the photo album? Yeah, that makes sense. And... Me. And this is? Ben collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just be just so some adults can say face. I think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Five years ago. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died and it was Hammer's fault. Did someone die? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, producer Mrs. Vasquez managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on. Oh. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Mrs. Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. He was afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see... You know who knows more about Miss, Miss Albeck? Oh no. Back we go! Back we go. He was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks, we'll try asking her. If she'll tell. Yeah. I guess we got the old bag. still slinking around if you like the place so much why don't you take over for me oops the old windpack doesn't look so good everybody's doing the darn darnedest darnedest to forget hammer 
how do you think my global studio one it is today? What do you always think? <laughs> hammer, it's all due to hammer. It's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. <laughs> what? It's frothing. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. <laughs> She's gone crazy. Mm. Five oh. years ago. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Mm. Uh oh. Who, who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols. Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols, the, assist the assistant we talked to. Uh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whipper snapper. <laughs> to dredging up dirt on someone's past like that and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powell's costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. The sleeping pills? No. Want the steak? Maybe. What do we say then? Do we have proof? Proof, yes. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbeb, but I do have proof. And proof that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. The steak then? Steak. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, yeah, so... This is a plate that it used to eat that steak. There are traces of slipping pill powder on the plate. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, I bet Powers put it in there himself. Sure, you tell that to yourself. <laughs> A lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Lightweight? Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. That would be the bottle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. What? You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Oh my god. Miss Oldbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. What? I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Mrs. Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. 
He has ties to the Mafia. He has what? <laughs> she silenced the paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. Hmm? A photograph. Wait a second. Ah. Oh. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of those stairs here. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. It. But, how, but how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo shows an accident involving Jack Hammer. We go press uh, Vasquez. Or what mm. do we do? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. We just present her the photo. Yeah. Yeah. He's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? From your mama. I will... Old bag. <laughs> oh, old? She means the security lady, Miss Oldbag, Nick. Right, anyway. <laughs> Mrs. Vasquez. Get this incident from the press, didn't you? And use it to control Mr. Hammer. No. The wind. Uh-huh. It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Now we can see why well, you wanna was go? broken. Do you want to see the broken? Yeah, yeah, we can do that first. Look at it. There's some flowers here. Well, so pretty, but take good care of it. Don't get too close, that fence looks dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, nothing came it out does. of that. Do we just go in, or do we keep. We want to look at something else? No, I'll just go in. Hmm. Hmm, you came. Well then. What was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Mrs. Vasquez, you're using that accident. You're blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids' shows for petty change. Hmm. So, I'm a blackmailer now. Oh, that's what it was, wasn't it? 
wasn't sure it was an accident. It used to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But... You were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Yes, please. Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? Mm. No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you show it? Hmm. <sighs> Just think. Would he have let me run his life five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said this was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. Uh oh. one yeah we're losing we're losing ray oh no yeah but nice how we can hear the oh no <laughs> oh. um we can take a quick break I go to we can toilet, take I yeah we'll take a quick break Okay, be back soon. Okay. Hi, Chad. How are you? How's the heart? Are you enjoying Ace Attorney? Now oh, we have a few minutes. Ace Attorney is good? It's really good. And this is just the first game. So yeah. Everything good? Yeah. Probably just a hiccup. Oh. I don't know. Internet says no. I know. But I'm back. <laughs> yeah, Nick, you went to the bathroom. I think. Alright, alright. But yeah, Ace Attorney is good, and this is just the first game. 
there's a lot more this franchise has. <laughs> Excited to go through the games again. Mm, yes, yes. I wish I could play the other ones, maybe. Wish the other ones were on PC as well. Sash, they're not. No photo. <laughs> No photo. The stickers from this server you get Nitro to use it everywhere. Wow. <laughs> Noises. Yeah. Dog walking noises. Yeah. <laughs> Final Fantasy fourteen Endwalker two EP. Oh. It has the raid music and the dungeon oh. music. Oh, telling us the 
we should just keep going. Oh. Now we can wait a bit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Chad, we're gonna wait a bit. Ray's having internet issues. Yeah. More on. started playing Overwatch 2, right? Yeah. I also started it yesterday. Overwatch 2. It feels like all Overwatch. Yeah, but with one less tank, which makes me very sad. No, I didn't mean like Overwatch 1 at the end. I just mean like release Overwatch. Mmm, like it's good. Yeah, I play with Char as well. Yeah, that is bad because I got very addicted <laughs> to Overwatch 1 when it came out. No, it, it feels like, yeah, it feels like go release Overwatch again. <laughs> I do need to go on Splatoon 3 again. At some oh. point, because there's apparently the new Splatfest, I think, has been announced. Like... Hmm, you're juggling a lot of games. I always do. <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah. Char, I've been. I've been telling you to get Splatoon, now you should really get Splatoon. You know? <laughs> At least I'm not a gacha fin. Yeah. I don't put money in gachas. <laughs> you haven't wailed in Genshin yet. No, I haven't wailed in any gachas. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Only gacha and I really play is uh, Project Sekai, I guess. I only play Genshin. I used to play Grand Blue, but that was too that was too hard to keep up with, so I just <laughs> quit Grand Blue and started playing Genshin. Mm hmm Yeah, I can imagine. So some of them are really time intensive. Yeah. Grand Blue was too hard to keep up with. Mm. Oh uh, you're back. Raise here. <laughs> Yeah, I've been telling you, I've been telling you to get Splatoon. The new Splatfest is a Pokemon crossover. The teams are Grass type, Fire type, or Water type. Playing seven gachas. What, what are all of those? Seven gachas. You have to pick between Grass, Fire, or Water for the next Splatfest. I think I know four of the gachas. <laughs> mm. Genshin, Chenoalus, mm -hmm. Nerean, oh. and Grand Blue. I don't know the other ones. Playing Dirty Rian. <laughs> I'm back. Let's hope it lasts for a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's continue maybe before I get yeeted mm. again. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. Uh, oh, Honkai as well. No! Oh my god. Yeah. He got into Honkai. Princess Connect. Hmm. That game is ass. <laughs> I started it. I hate it. <laughs> I tried. Oh, Arknights is the only one I'm actually kind of interested in. Azure Lake 2, oh my god. 
She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. But that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporters... Now all the reporter would need is the negatives. You could have made a copy. But he didn't. Mm. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. No. Boys. Oh my god. Oh, where did they come from? Where were these people hiding? Uh, um... Who are they? <laughs> Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? Mm. What? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's third. No. Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. <laughs> so long, friends. Boys, you race away. No. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Hold it right there. Come shoot to the rescue. Ooh. I heard everything, pal. D Vasquez. You're coming down to the precinct with me now. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then, in court. Yeah. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, you okay, pal? Um. Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. <laughs> Thank you, Gamsu. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. I'm just doing my job. Thank you, Gamsu. Sorry, it's just I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick. Looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? <laughs> the Vasquez. <laughs> Do we continue? Oh my lord. How many we continue? Last trial. Of the game? No. <laughs> Final day. Trial. October 20, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. 
Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and even the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Farewell, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today I will call on people present, present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Oh my god, <laughs> the jokes keep coming. This game never <laughs> stops. On edge? Woo. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Pros the prosecution... <laughs> the oh. prosecution calls Ms. D... Ms. D. Vasquez to the stand. I hate my brain. <laughs> <laughs> no. The neurons get activated when you see new character. You gotta read. Mm -hmm. Ms. D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. <laughs> if you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did. Make it pay. <laughs> but right. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Hmm. The day of the murder. I enter the trailer oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had a s so I had Sal take me. At two thirty, we took a fifteen-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. Oh. You were fatigued, yeah. so you had salt take you. The van. Hmm? There's a van in Studio Two. I didn't take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with that monkey's head toppling over. In the wind? Or what? Then Manel used this fan to drive Vasquez to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I see. They're all Mr. Wright, your cross examination. That's the final battle, Nick. Let's do it.
Trail O. Well, mm. Do you wanna press this? Hmm. Huh. I have the final. Sure. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area? No. Are you always this thirst? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. Meeting began at 12 sharp and then at 4. Huh. Do we have any evidence regarding the meeting? Isn't. Well, we know the break was there, right? There's be rehearsal after, so I went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had salt take me. At 2.30, thirty, took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Okay, yeah, we were pressed, so... And what were you doing during that time? <laughs> Don't hit your desk. But it's his signature move. It irritates me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Hmm. Wait. Yeah. They have someone who can verify this. So. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. She committed murder during that break. She won't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. They had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Mm. Well, Nick, find anything? I kinda wish she'd say a little more. Oh, I think she's pretty used to being the boss. I'm sure you find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. I mean, they're basically telling us present something there. Mm hmm. What do we have? Hmm. What do we have? Any steak? Steak? Any steaks in chat? <laughs> Well, there are trace of sleeping pills, but... Huh? <laughs> it's also in the employee area. Yeah. yeah. What? Ah, oh, we don't huh? have anything. <laughs> I have no idea. Hmm. I think we should press some other stuff, so... Oh, we had that. Uh, yeah, we pressed this. Yeah, I press it. Press everything. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. <laughs> oh. Hmm, I mean, unless everyone ate steak that was, was sleeping stuff, and everyone just had to take a nap. No. Mm, <laughs> mm. No, there's no <laughs> evidence to support that thing. <laughs> the witness did not com come here to engage in idle conversation. I did, no. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. 
And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> mm. <laughs> when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? <laughs> no. No. The meeting ended at 4 and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was take the obvious edge word. Yeah, this is talk about the van. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. That's yeah. all, thank you, what does we that had this. mean? Here we had this one. With the van. I mean, just what I, what I it means what I just said. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, you can skip this. Oh, yeah. alright. <laughs> uh. What were you doing during that time? Oh, I don't hit your desk. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. How many stakes did we find, though? In uh, we found two plates uh, in the studio too. Uh... Hmm. I mean, we do have to present something here. I, it, it 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 does feel like that, like the steak is the only thing we can present there, though. I tried. Um, um... I also don't know. It's it feels a bit far fetched. It does feel a bit. That's why I'm saving. Yeah. Ah, as I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. But what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, it's... was it because we were like, oh, this doesn't really look like a T-bone steak. Oh my god, I said it like <laughs> ages ago. I forgot. Yeah, that was like ages. It's a plate. This play was on the table in the employee area. You can see a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remember? Uh, me, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Mr. Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet, there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare! Oh, sorry about that, okay. Okay, how were we supposed to remember this? Oh. At least if we <laughs> had gotten the evidence of the plates, maybe like that would have made more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? No, just eat them too. Eat them. Boneless steak! You <laughs> ate the bone too! <laughs> yeah. I think I know how. No steak has been eaten. Yeah, that is no the steak. most incriminating. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. I... I see! And what was Mrs. Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? <gasps> Picking on Salmonella. Picking yeah, on Salmonella. <laughs> Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Order. 
Uh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to heat their steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, oh, and oh, then oh. you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim. Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Well, good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite uh, stage, st stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Isn't that broken? It is broken. Oh, yes! Though... It was just a tip. Though, maybe... What if they used the... The... Um, the, um, the flower thingy again? Because cause surely they repaired it afterwards. There's no way they let... The thingy be broken for five fucking oh. years. Mm. Mm. But, but, but. Mm. Why is there no blood? Would they really have cleaned it? But did this Maybe he just didn't have the costume on. Mm -hmm. uh, when he died. Oh my god, this is crazy. I don't know. If he had the costume. Mm. Because. Probably. You couldn't kill anyone with just the tip of the spear because you cannot hold it properly. And it's broken, so you cannot use the, the entire spear to actually kill someone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the spear wasn't actually the murder weapon. But I was thinking, since she's so weak, she could say, I can't lift the spear. And she just used the tip of the spear to kill someone. Yeah, but I'm How saying you that you cannot grab it. Oh, hmm. Sure Maybe. Hmm. Mm. Well, either one would argue in the same direction, yeah, I think. Yeah, so and I... she does know that throwing someone onto the fence also works. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so what do we say? I think you could. Oh, oh no, 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 I think you couldn't, could you? I yeah. Well. Not the know. spear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to about murder. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Yeah, even Phoenix does. In the really? anime, at least. <laughs> yeah. mm. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, there is no bearing on this case. Meaning? Samurai Spear was not the murder weapon. What? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Yeah, because it broke. So the spear. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. The murder weapon breaking the shaft that is mended with duct tape. But I guess only old bag. And we know this. Mm -hmm. Because she was the only one that saw. Should I present the spear then? Yes. Yeah. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But, but that is the murder weapon. Not so mm. fast. 
Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run through? But someone fixed the spear. A security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible? Someone stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest. Oh, order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Mm. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then praise hell, what was? How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Yes. Okay. Yes. A beautiful fence. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? <laughs> yes. I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Um, the f the I have the photo, probably. The photo, yeah. yeah. Look at this photo. B what is this? Oh, that's Shaq Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Oh, order, order. I cannot have order. This trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright. What is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. Still can see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? What are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Mrs. D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whatever she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer. He died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Hmm. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15-minute break? 
How could I have disposed of the body? Hmm. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? I'm guessing mm. she put the body in the van? Yeah. I, but you couldn't drive with the van over there because of the tree, right? Or the fall over. I'm okay. Where did what? they drive with the, tr with the fucking van then? I, yeah, I really don't understand that. <laughs> What is this van doing? The studio one after the meeting in the trailer. So when well, the then... tree was already removed or what? Yeah, it makes yeah, sense, yeah. it makes sense. Because um, they could have just put the body in the van, left it there. No one, to no one probably touched the van. Yeah. And then at four, when the head wasn't mm. there, Mm -hmm. They drove. He drove her to Studio One because she was supposedly tired or fatigued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was just a cover-up to bring the body to Studio One. Hmm. So I think yeah. she had another way. Yeah. Yeah. What if she had another way to carry the body other than her own hands? For instance... Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. The van. The monkey. The monkey. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey carried it. Mrs. Vasquez, carry the body to Studio One, and you use the Studio Van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had cell taping. There was a van there, right? And Sal drive me. Use the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Hmm. Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Mm. Yes. Hmm. Not necessary. I guess he was. No, why? Because you, you can't see the back of the van and there was no reason to look there since he was just driving uh, over there. I mean, but they were all taking the recess. And didn't the murder happen while everyone was there anyways? Oh, that is true. Mm. Is it? He was there, right? Yeah. And I guess there were no bones for any food. Yeah, yeah, okay. He was. So he was? Yeah. Of course, someone now has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Mrs. Vasquez could have done that alone. Oh, that's. Why not? Also, don't forget that they had disposed of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. Probably burned it in that small incinerator. <laughs> that incinerator had to do a lot of work. <laughs> well, Mrs. Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. 
Hmm. I lose, you win. It was fun. I win? That's not a good sign. Um... So, what happens next? Don't mm, me! Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost somebody like that? I just said that. Wait, wait, so you mean... You've asked us, so it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. <laughs> this is so awkward. Why is no one saying anything? <laughs> Who can say? Uh. Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of the battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. A possibility, Phoenix. But that is only a possibility. Proven is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 We haven't confirmed that she did it. Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, um... <laughs> oh, of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but, um... There's no proof. Hmm. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well... I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Uh, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll we'll probably testify again, right? Hmm. Because then I, I we can guess. proceed. Yeah. Do we make her testify again? I yeah. suppose. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Or maybe we just have to accuse her. Hmm. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... Could ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Them. Them! Come so far only to fail. <laughs> Maya, do something. As it seems there are no further questions. No. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Mrs. Vasquez. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I I just want to hear you testi your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see a little point in making Mrs. Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Hmm, well, yes, hmm. 
Mm. Indeed, verily, I say, Ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court rule concerning this matter. Hmm. Nick! Why did that work? Who knows? Probably hmm. realized she did it too. But, but... Not the, the one that said she always gets a guilty verdict. To all that. Edgeforth. After finding the body. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. Security lady Oldbag was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Hey Nick, we're real really close, real really close! I may be acting tough now. If you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. The key you need. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her neck. Right! Press everything? <laughs> mm. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 for the rehearsal. So, I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manel arrive in the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. It's harder. What statement are we on? First, uh, hmm. the very first statement. Can't be a mistake, hmm. can it? It can sometimes, but maybe maybe the game is still nice to us. Yeah, we can press. Yeah. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well. Then he could have put Ember in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh. What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? <laughs> you should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. B boy? Boy, yeah. The witness will continue Fox. her testimony. Mr. Power is taking a nap, correct? So he says. I can be pretty sure, certain of that. Did no one go to call him? Ooh. Remember. Remember what? Yeah. There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm. Yes, <laughs> I do. You certainly seem calm enough when I accuse you of murder. Uh, hmm, this doesn't feel very important. What do you think then? Hmm. Do we back off? I, uh, I don't think this is the one. Yeah. I'll hold off. She just blow off anything I had to say anyway. I'm gonna press this. 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Hmm. Not super hmm. necessary, but we can. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then silence, dead silence. <laughs> silence. Hey, hey Nick! Why is everyone so quiet? Don't you do something to light things up? Uh... Hmm. Security lady old bag was quite agitated, putting up power saying he did it. Let's see. Or either. Mm hmm? Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, it's just. just old no, bag. that's probably true. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. Why? Why? You asked to be left out. Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. Just prove that wrong though. Covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot of writing on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. Sure professionals help convince everyone they didn't require questioning. Hmm. Went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. I'll clean up more stuff. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The script and your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. I, it wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Hmm. But one of them was lost, right? Didn't we find it in the... Yeah, we did find one of the scripts. Yeah. Mm, we press yeah. this. We are another person press this. Yeah. Mm. Wait a second. I thought you came to see your one for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Oh. Why? There was a murder after all. How do you know? You shouldn't know at that time. I could think of rehearsing after that. But... What? No, this is the <laughs> fault, because if they found the body at the start of the rehearsal, how do you not bring your script? Knowing there's <laughs> gonna be no a sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess... Wait, Phoenix! No. Phoenix! No. Phoenix! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Oh, thank yeah, god! Is... Someone <laughs> has a fucking brain in this fucking court! <laughs> I bet he's gonna talk about something else. No. Your honor. I have an ob objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Uh huh? Think. Ms. Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Yeah, okay, at least someone here has brain cells. Oh someone my god. The, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's where the brain cells are. Order, order. <laughs> All in his ass. Mr. Edgeworth. What do you have just said? The reasonable observation. However, find out to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Are you thinking of a career change to defense? Didn't he? Wait, I, I shouldn't say. No, don't say. Don't <laughs> say, don't say, don't say. I appreciate I, I, the concern, Your Honor. I knew what you were going to say. <laughs> don't say it. I'm not saying it. 
I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Yeah. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well, the witness will change the testimony to reflect this reason. Yes, what is it? Pamo was injured. That's not quite it, though. What? Immediately wrong. Though uh, we can put up the image or press it. Though I suppose her saying that she knew that Hammer was injured means she knew that Hammer was in the costume and not Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... So we just present the picture? I think so. Unless we press it. You wanna no, press? I think we can just. I think we can just eat this the photos. This picture. Wrong. Yeah. Objection. You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Uh, what? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. That's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending. Right, because she wasn't at the rehearsal. She wasn't yeah. like the, the thing they did. She didn't see Hammer, she didn't see Powers fall. One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it was Sal who told me. Th that's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. I would tell you the wrong person. Miss Vasquez! <laughs> you heard him wrong. Yeah. Your nice. hearing must not be that all that good at your age anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what age you is. Actually, you could check. Oh, true. She's 34. She's not that old. <laughs> Wait, how old is old back? Probably. Do we even get an age? No. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> They're still so young, both yeah. Edgeworth and Phoenix. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Was it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember! Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He's pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! Oh. And when he was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly! Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought yeah, it was Mr. Hammer had been injured that morning. Cool. Order, hmm. order. I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? Hmm.
Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. <laughs> Why are the real killers always so persistent? Mm. Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? I guess she wouldn't. No. Trying to kill powers. Yeah. Yes, he'd fallen on the on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Death, nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? There is a reason it is unclear to this court. Does the defense uh. have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Uh, Hammer felt guilty. He knew he was in, so he actually was all on purpose from him, Maybe. right? You... Do you want to know my thoughts? Depends on if you know it from last time. <laughs> no, I actually don't remember if it is, but I have, I have a <laughs> I small don't. feeling. I have a small yeah. feeling I know. Okay, okay. So, Jack Hammer went to Studio Two with a spear in hand. Dressed as a steel samurai. Yes. Against someone that was actively blackmailing him and using dirt on him. Mm. Jack Hammer was the one that intended to kill Vasquez. And then Vasquez mm -hmm. killed him in self-defense. Yeah, that also sounds reasonable. Yeah. I was thinking something similar. That it was more of an accident, I guess. <laughs> it's interesting when we have three versions. Yeah, but what what do we all collectively say? Can we prove it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have proof and I'll show it to you. I presented the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. Is it just a photo again? I think it would be just a photo. Mm. Yeah. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Mm. Oh. Five years ago, Mr. Armor was at the height of his fame. With Dick Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial it began on that day five years ago. I mean, yeah, I, I do think it makes sense that Hammer was trying to kill her because why else would he even wear the Steel Samurai costume and pretending to limp? Mm hmm. He was gonna kill her and limp it on powers. Yeah. And put it on powers. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the present day in Mr. Hammer's last role as the Eva Magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. Ah. That's what that motive would Mrs. Right. Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say... I would have had no reason to kill Hammer, he was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men, it's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright? Please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Yeah, then she didn't have... Mm -hmm. No motive. No motive then? Yeah. Hmm. She had no motive, your honor. What's that now? 
It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Mr. Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? <laughs> it's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Mrs. Vasquez. Wh <gasps> what? <laughs> Your Honor. Still samurai music. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the seal steel samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? He killed the Vasquez who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. <laughs> so you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was oh. me. Oh, sorry. Someone call an ambulance. <laughs> There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Is this about five years ago? <laughs> Miss Vasquez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what happened here? <laughs> Manual. Yeah, it must be from five yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, this is five years. Manual ago. fell from the from the trailer stairs. Manu, Manu. I can read this. I, I read too much already. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. <laughs> Manual transmission. Manual labor. No. no, no, how could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and. No, Manual, Manual! <laughs> don't, don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! I don't even know who the fuck is talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please don't die. Please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Oh, wow. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth, where's the Vasquez? <clears throat> In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Well, Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not guilty! guilty. That is all, this court is adjourned. October 20, 1.12 p.m. This record, defendant lobby number three. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. Bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. Yeah. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh-huh. Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Oh. Uh, I guess he wanted probably to... to play the Steel Samurai himself. But what kind of proof? Just the picture, maybe? What picture? The... The, the, the security photo. What? This one? Yeah? No. 
Uh, or maybe he wanted to just destroy the show. Yeah, but what's the proof of that? Oh my god. I mean, the picture is like the only thing that connects them both. Mm. So what do we say? Show evidence? Yeah. You try want me to save so we can try again? Or... Yeah, actually. Or... I do want to. But this doesn't do anything. It never yeah, does. This doesn't change anything. But, just but I want to know what's the right... Well, it's the you picture. Get, you get well, an achievement. this is what I think. Mr. Amor wanted to put the blame on you because... Oh, we showed this. We. Oui. Because you were the still samurai. Because I was a still samurai. Mr. was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and that's the villain to boot. The kids love the still samurai. And so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him many times. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. Can't wait to get back in that sweaty costume and. Uh. How do we tell him? Oh no. <laughs> How do we tell him? <laughs> now that I look back at it, the child's testimony was what was such bullshit. Like, couldn't remember that. Charles? Once. Child, the, the kid. The child. Probably. Yeah. Uh, couldn't remember anything. Yeah. Not even. Uh, uh, what a waste of time. Is something wrong? No, no. No, of course not. Uh, Nick Edgeworth. Say something right. <laughs> I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. <laughs> you don't waste any time gloating, do you? <laughs> no, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. <laughs> Is this when they start dating? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Um, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. And there's the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you. <laughs> this is one of the dialogues that gets memed on all the time. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. <laughs> unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? <laughs> feelings of love, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> they only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. Oh, so they never see each other again. <laughs> That's what I came here to tell you. Whoosh. Whoosh. Um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? <laughs> <laughs> they were good friends. Yeah. <laughs> what? Friends as if? Rivals, rivals. Who doesn't Love it, right? Picture. 
For now if, we if are. If a rivalry lasts longer than seven years, then you are no longer just rivals. You are gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good For picture. now we are, I guess. Uh -huh. I feel get the feeling I'm missing something. <laughs> Rivals to lovers, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come on, Nick. Tell me, what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Childhood Can friends to rivals to lovers. <laughs> and so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios retarded its programming change. I went back to making kids shows again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nick! This is it, the new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? You have to trade with Cody and that assistant. I'm fine, I'll do it. Great that WP gets to play the lead again. I wonder if they show they'll show his real face this time. Um no. Probably not. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real will powers. And yeah, should we watch the first bit of the next? Because I think Do it's you, funny. You want to watch your first mm -hmm. bit of episode four? Just look I at the kinda... thumbnail already. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of need to run. My mother asked me to do something. Okay, again. so we'll I leave it him. here. Uh, episode That's four. Fine. Episode four is a good one, though. Oh, I love yes, it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Are we just gonna say like Tuesday again? Yeah. Episode last oh, episode friend. of every Ace Attorney game is always it's very spicy. <laughs> very spicy. Mm. Is this the last one then? The episode four. There is uh, the extra episode of Ace Attorney one, which wasn't released on the original mm. game. It was released mm. only on the DS version, so we have that as well to play. But mm -hmm. of the original game, this is the last episode. Yes. I see. I see. Also, never mind. I don't think I can do Tuesday. We'll figure something out if you have to yeah, go. Yeah, right yeah. We'll, we'll we'll figure something out. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try and not spoil anything. Hey. <laughs> so I am gonna preemptively end the Discord stream, <laughs> so you don't see. I am going to hide the game on stream because <laughs> I literally do not want anything spoiled. Out of this episode, this is, and I also can't speak because this is one of the cases I fully remember. Mm. So I cannot help you in episode four. It's all because <laughs> I remember the whole case. It's a good case, though. But anyway, yeah, we did it. Episode three done. <coughs> Ooh. Bless you. Bless you. Episode 3 is done. Yes. Oh yeah, case 5. Yeah, there is the case 5. Is that on the Steam version? It should be, right? Yes. Nice. Ari! Ari with the raid! Thank you, Ari! Bringing your friends here. We're just ending though, unfortunately. <laughs> a good time, good time. But hi, welcome Raiders. I'm uh, Papu. I um I stream mainly Final Fantasy XIV, but not but, right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, now we were. Now we are, uh, we did an Ace Attorney collab, we're playing through the Ace Attorney games. We just yes. finished episode 3 of the first game. And uh, yeah, hi friends, how are y'all doing? Hi Flynn, hi Ori, how are both of you? 
Okay, the game lets me close now. Okay, I need to run now. So All right, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately that's gonna be it because people have to run and go do real life things. I also have no raid, so I'm just gonna call stream here. We've been going for almost four hours. Oh. But yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for the support and all this stuff. I am gonna send you to someone else. Just not gonna leave the raid hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Got a raid with the raid, easy. Do I just send Arya? Do I just send us to Destiny? She's streaming Genshin. <gasps> yeah, I think I'm gonna host Destiny. Destiny doesn't stream a lot, so. Destiny streaming Genshin. I don't know what she's doing, but yeah, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed my content, please drop a follow. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back with Ace Attorney sometime next week. I don't know if it's gonna be Tuesday like mm -hmm. usual. We might need to think of another day. Uh, I'll try to stream this weekend. Maybe some 14, maybe something else. We'll see. If you wanna watch 14, we'll be definitely be back on Monday with more P8S proc. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna be it from me. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye. command. That should be it, right?